Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're about to get involved in another affair, but instead of it being an affair to remember, as in our last film, this is an affair that some of the characters in the story would prefer to forget. The film is called Affair in Trinidad. It's from Columbia Pictures in 1952, and it stars the great screen team of Rita Hayworth and Glenn Ford in the fourth of five films they made together. And it was a very important movie at the time it came out. By 1952, Rita Hayworth was one of the most famous women in the whole world. Not only was she a glamorous movie star, dubbed by Life magazine as the world's love goddess, but at this point she'd also married Europe's Prince Ali Khan, thus becoming a real life princess, Princess Rita. And from then on, every move she made was duly reported in newspaper headlines. But four years later, the storybook marriage came to an end. And in those four years, she hadn't stepped foot in front of a movie camera an eternity in a Hollywood career, and this next movie, An Affair in Trinidad, was her big comeback film. Harry Cohen, the head of Columbia Studios, where Rita was under contract, was ecstatic to have her back at work, knowing the public was salivating to see her up on screen again. The big problem was finding a good script for her, something which caused many delays and a great deal of friction. What Harry Cohen wanted was for writers to come up with something as close as possible to Rita's 1946 success, Gilda. Even announced her leading man in Gilda, Glenn Ford, would be with her in this next movie. Well, it was Virginia Van Up, who produced and developed the script of Gilda, who came up with a storyline for this comeback movie. But before shooting even began, she'd left the project, her script having been drastically changed. Well, the final script that was used not only borrowed heavily from Gilda, but also from another 1946 film, Notorious. Well, even the two musical numbers Rita Hayworth does in this movie were basically copycats of two she did in Gilda. But the most troubling thing, as you'll see as you watch the film, Rita at age 33 no longer really seemed to have the confidence of the vavoom factor that she'd had before she left films to briefly be a bona fide princess, except when she does those musical numbers. Then it's the confident, energized Rita of yore that's up there on the screen again, full tilt. So here's Rita Hayworth's much publicized, much anticipated return to films in 1952 after a four year absence. It's a movie director of Vincent Sherman, A Fair in Trinidad. <laughs>